My name's Rob Poynton. I'm a, an oil painter, primarily a, a plein air painter. I'm painting outside, out of the studio. I want my works to be engaging and immersive uh, depictions of my own experience. I've always enjoyed the um, producing artworks. It's, uh, it's always been my kind of opportunity to, to shine, if you like, and to re receive merit and reward. And it's, it's where I've immersed myself. And later in life, it's become almost obsessive. But for me, th there's so much still to be learned just in, in, in that sphere. I, I, I rarely um, scale up studies, small plein air studies. I know that is a common practice from other artists. I, I really enjoy, as much as possible, having the, the final canvas, whatever scale it is, there in front of the actual subject matter. So each brush mark feels like an honest um, depiction of what's in front of me. So in the quest for the artworks to be immersive and engaging, I think filling them with as much activity, routes for the eye, viewer's eye to travel down as possible, that can either be with the brushwork or just, just how you apply the paint itself, try and, try and make that as energetic or as interesting as possible, or with, with the subject choice. So uh, I'll often set up in busy railway stations where you're surrounded by commuters, travelling up and down escalators or in the middle of parades. I enjoy working with, with an audience, almost like a um, a showman or a street performer, I, I, I find a passing audience helps energise my approach. It just helps with the whole experience of the subject matter on a, on a deeper level. Uh, during Covid, the, the pavements were largely empty. I, was, I continued my practice as much as I dared through through the Covid times of, of, of producing street scenes and I used the quiet pavements as an opportunity to study the, the soldiers in the horse boxes on Whitehall. They, they, they make for wonderful models uh, that they stood motionless all day long, so well turned out on such a magnificent horse. I didn't know if it was possible to plonk an easel in front of them and just spend all day staring at them but uh, it turns out that that's okay that's that uh, I didn't get moved on by all the armed police and all the all the sentry soldiers it picked the interest of uh, an officer he came over and spoke to me and uh, came up with the idea of, of following and documenting uh, the the life of the regiment over over a period It's, it's amazed me just the honours that have been bestowed on me, just, as I say, just really a, a, a street artist who caught their attention working, working on Whitehall. They've uh, allowed me some really exclusive access to, uh, to, to see behind the scenes uh, in, in the, the historic stables, in, in, the, in the working forges, staying in the officers' mess behind the scenes of all the parades, giving me the rehearsal details. The, the highlights have been the, the trip in the colour. Because of Covid, there was a really intimate, restricted trip in the colour inside the quadrangle at Windsor Castle. And I was deeply honoured to have a vantage point inside the Queen's private chambers, looking down almost over the shoulder of the Queen and seeing the, this whole procession happening. In, in such amazing surroundings um, with the red arrows flying overhead. That, that was uh, probably the biggest honour of my career. And then this year, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. It's a nice link to old history painting of the past. Uh, to, to, to be an oil painter trying to document such a historic occasion. It's difficult to answer well, why, why, would, why do I keep doing this because it's so intertwined with, with who I am. 
it, it's it's just be, become how I live my life. But it's it's not a chore at all. You can come away on such a high from from throwing mixes of colour and pigment down on a on a piece of cloth. Uh, it, it's just it can be it can be everything. It can be everything. Um, uh, and and, it, and it, yet it is just that, it's just paint on pieces of board or, or cloth.